What's going on, everybody? I'm W. And I'm the Thick Baby. And we're going to be bringing you some anime news. For our first topic, Akira Toriyama passed away recently. He is the creator of Dragon Ball Z. May he rest in peace. He is was a fantastic creator yeah. and probably touched a lot of people's lives with this show. I mean, it, I, I mean, many people without his show, we really don't get the boom in anime that comes with the big three following that all to the shonen series that we have now. Yeah, I mean, I don't, we might not even have One Piece in English if it wasn't for no. Dragon Ball Z. This, this is a man who over and over again failed with entering competitions for Shonen Jump magazine over and over again to getting works in the magazine over and over again to having them fail. That like It took like five or six different works in Shonen Jump before he got one to take off. Which yeah. is just crazy, because I mean... He's an amazing creator, and he will be missed so much. And to honor his memory, Toonami, who aired his show originally for all of us to watch, will be doing a Dragon Ball Z marathon on Saturday, starting at 2 a.m. in the morning, to honor his memory. I will be offering up my spirit. Oh, yeah. Let's charge that spirit bomb, guys. Let's do it. Um, in lighter news, the Boy and the Heron film, uh, which released a few months back, I want to say last year, uh, from Hayao Miyazaki, Studio Ghibli, one of my favorite studios as well, makes amazing content all the time, is coming back to North American theaters. It will be here March 2nd, and if you missed seeing it the first time, I don't know if you saw it. I still haven't seen it yet. You got to go see it in theaters. The experience is amazing. You got the big screen, you know, the it just sucks you in. The whole room's dark. It's amazing. Absolutely one of my favorite Probably my favorite Hayao Miyazaki film uh-huh. of all time. It's on my list. I just I haven't gotten around to it yet. We're going on a bro date. We're going to go see it. It's all right, amazing. All right. You all should go see it. But that's all I got for my anime. All right. I figured we'd go over the Crunchyroll Spring 2024 lineup. Ooh. So there's a lot more in here that hasn't been announced or has. And I just... I figured we'll stick with the ones I'm looking forward to. The ones that have ridiculous names or the ones that have... They just sound ridiculous in general. All right. Um, I love the weird names. All right, so first up, we got Kaiju number eight. I'm very interested in this one. This is basically world with giant monsters. Kaiju roaming around. Uh, This guy joins the defense force for his country and fights against the monsters. All right, little EDF. Yes, I I have a feeling it's going to be very Godzilla-like. I will go check this one out. It's got a lot of... uh, advertisement for it. It looks like it's going to be I love when big monsters just start brawling. Exactly, yeah. Uh, We got Black Butler Public School Arc, a new season of Black Butler. Okay. I haven't... I've watched a few episodes of Black Butler. I couldn't get into it, but I know it's a popular one with a lot of people. It was pretty cool. I mean, the fights were cool. His powers were awesome. Yeah, I I couldn't get to the fights because there was so much... There's so much build-up to all of them. I just, like, don't... Didn't... I couldn't invest myself. The Demon Butler. Exactly. Uh, Konosuba, God's Blessing on This Wonderful World, Season 3. Okay. Uh, I have watched the first two seasons of this. It's got an Iseki vibe to it, or an Isekai. Uh, it's still good. It, I feel like it plays on the comedy of the Isekai in it, where okay. like he's, he uses his power and doesn't realize. What, like his, his one power is theft, and he just like says theft and steals stuff from people. Okay. But every time he does it, it's like a roll of the dice luck, and he just ends up stealing girls' underwear the entire time. Like <laughs> it's, it's RNG against It's ridiculous, him. <laughs> yes. So I feel like they play on the comedy aspect of it, and then when it happens to be an action scene, it's still comedy, but it's, it's pretty good, too. Okay. Yeah. So they try and draw the spoof and make fun. That's yeah, kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, we have Viral Hit, How to Fight. This is, looks interesting. This looks like it could be a Baki comedy kind of thing Ooh, where a man gets into a fight and it just happens to be recorded, like a street fight, and it goes viral, and then he ends up just becoming like a street brawler. Kind okay, of thing. Yeah. the next backyard brawling. Exactly. So I do. think the fights in it might be interesting. Just based off the pictures, the animation style looks different okay uh i would check it out i'm gonna i'm gonna get my review and see if it gets good but we'll see we'll I'm see. looking forward to see what you say about that yeah. one i'll have to check it out if it's good uh we have th- this is one of those ones i wrote down just because of the name all right as a reincarnated aristocrat i'll use my appraisal skill to rise in the world do you need a description it just said it all right there <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna rise in the world just anime companies just listen to me stop naming your anime such long titles 
No one names a book the entire description of the book, okay? People go out and they read it or they watch a movie just based off of the buildup or the trailers, the marketing to that. Stop naming your stuff so specifically. It's horrible. <laughs> uh, next one I got, Bartender Glass of God. Looked interesting. I don't know. It, I think we talked about The description of it was like, he's a bartender, but everything he, he serves up can uplift your spirits. Oh, yeah. I, I would maybe that's just like from a, him. Yeah, maybe that's just like a talking comedy, slice of life like. comedy yeah. kind of thing. I don't know how it's going to be. I feel like random adventurers will come into his bar and he'll be serving them. Exactly. Stuff. I'm going to watch an episode and see, but I, I don't have high hopes. Yeah. Uh, another one that the name seems a little ridiculous. Chilling in another world with level two super cheap powers. Level two? What about level three? This is, I, I think he comes from a world where they already have levels kind of thing. Okay. Is the only difference between normal, stupid, long title ones like that. Where he's like a merchant in another world and now he's a level two adventurer or something in this world. So, okay. Yeah. It, Interesting. Just based off the cover, it's got an easy kind of vibe to it. I bet. Yeah. It's a new thing lately. Exactly. This one... God's Games We Play. It is Bored Gods Challenge Humanity in a Battle of Wits. It, it has a very no game, no life kind of vibe to it. I always kind of like some of those where it's like they play these complicated games and then the main characters are like switches them up on them, uh, switches it up on them at the end of it where they like explain how they fooled them into their whole strategy. Yeah. yeah. Um, sometimes they're good. Sends me a little bit of a Ragnarok vibe. Yeah, a little bit. But I, I it's not going to be as action as it is. Like, they're playing Yahtzee or chess or something, yeah. some game like yeah. that. Yeah. Some Hunter Hunter puzzles. Yeah, yeah. Um, we got... Oh, this one is the, the longest title I've ever seen for an anime. All right, hit me with it. I was reincarnated as the seventh prince, so I can take my time preparing my magical ability. <laughs> All right, that's just ridiculous. Just, what did the, why put a description in? Why be the seventh prince preparing your magical what, ability? But, like, why, why put a description in the anime at all? It says it all right there. I don't need anything else. I, it doesn't leave me wanting for anything else. I don't need to know what it's about. I, don't I got to watch the about. trailer. Yeah, I, I know exactly what it's about. Yeah. Um, Moshiko Tensai, Jobless Reincarnation Season 2, Part 2. I have dropped this completely. It's a rough one. I'm just saying it for your guys' benefit. If you still watch it, go watch it. But... Maybe it'll give us some cool Instagram reels, YouTube shorts, or something of fights, but as far as the story and the isekai vibes of this one go, I'm dropping it. It's over. Yeah, I couldn't. After a minute, I just... There was a couple scenes that put it over the line, and it I, gets just, too I weird. couldn't watch it anymore. It's too weird. Man. It was rough, but... Uh, Re-Monster. Okay. Looks interesting. The re-series are always kind of cool. Um... This, the basic of the story is he is reincarnated as a goblin, and now he's got to work his way up in the world kind of thing. Okay, that's cool, though. The artwork looks cool. The characters look cool. I'll probably check it out and see if it gets any better. I imagine everyone hates is. goblins, kind of like normal. And yeah, just... yeah, it's like a low life form kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. That should be fun, though. Uh, but the last one I have on here, it wasn't a part of the Crunchyroll Spring 2024 lineup, but it is coming out. We have been announced Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest. It is coming in July 2024. I'm excited to see a new series of Fairy Tale coming back. I'm not excited because Fairy Tale doesn't seem to get what it makes it so good. It's power capped. That's it's power capped. Problem. That's what it is. It it hits a point in Fairy Tale where they don't get any more powerful and they just kind of I don't even know how Kamea, to explain Kamehameha wave everything to death over yeah. and over. Every battle is the same thing where they power up to his dragon slayer form or yeah. whatever. And yeah. that's it. And then the next battle you think he's going to unlock a new form? No, no. It's no. still just dragon slayer. get stronger with dragon slayer form. It's, yeah. They hit a cap and they never capitalize on it. So it's... Maybe yeah. they will in this one, though. You never know. Something might happen. Uh, let's we'll go hope. Super Saiyan God or something crazy. Let's hope. Uh, but that's that's our Crunchyroll Spring 2024 lineup. Let us know what you think. That, that's what I got for anime news. Hey, everybody. I'm the Thick Baby. And I'm W. And I just wanted to say, we have merch that has come out. They are sweatshirts with us on them and our logo on the front of them. Head over to newschoolproject.us to pick those up. It's first come, first serve on all the sizes, so make sure you get there fast. We also have more videos and reels like this that we do all the time. Go and check us out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Twitch, 
YouTube, Instagram, TikTok for all those new school project, new school gaming stuff. Uh, but thank you for watching, and we'll be back next week with more videos and reels for you. Thank you.